gaan we hierdie movie toe, naartoe geleid. Het is een lot of debate. Specifically from the charismatic His People Church. And they, they've now issued a press release. And they, they've said to all Christians, boycott this movie. Don't go and watch it. And then the Muslims also jumped on board. Um, uh, and, he, and they also said, boycott the movie. Because it's offensive mm-hmm. to us as a religion. Are you ready for the uh, review of this movie by the pastor of the His People Church? Mm-hmm. Yes. Ready? These are the people that said boycott it. Here's the review. Hi, my name is Gareth Stead. I'm the pastor of His People Christian Church in Cape Town in one city. What I thought was good about the movie is I think it's a movie that certainly can start some interesting conversations. I think a scene that stood out for me was when one of the animals died on the ark and it gave a real sense of finality. I thought it was also very cool that the first animal shown in the new world is a springbok with a little baby. But I think the part I loved the most about the movie was the end credits when they started to roll. Yeah, what I didn't like about the movie was firstly that it's a very subversive movie. It tells a familiar story but makes subtle changes to it that point to a totally different conclusion. Another big one is the way Noah is portrayed. He's portrayed as a psychopathic madman. The whole story of Noah really is a story of mercy where you know God finds a man who he can preserve the human race through whereas the movie is showing it's showing Noah really as someone who is presiding over human extinction which is quite sad. It's quite an anti-man agenda in the movie. Guy was the pastor of the His People Church. You heard what he had to say. Let's hear what Leon van Nero has to say about this movie. Hello, this is Leon van Nero. Noah, the movie, makes you drown in its excess. Although the special effects are breathtaking and the sheer scope of the flood is overpowering, the story hijacks the flood. It plays out like a soapy on a boat where the bickering between the family takes center stage. It's Darren Aronofsky's over-the-top version of the Love Boat TV series. This is not the biblical story I learned about in Sunday school. Two characters had to be invented to liven up the family drama. Wasn't the flood enough? Although speaking Spending a year in a confined space with Emma Watson could work for me on second thoughts. But one thing's for sure, Russell Crowe outacts the special effects. And how about those drowsy animals? I wish I had that magic potion to induce sleep to quiet down my neighbor's barking dog. Nowhere shows Darren Aronofsky's obsession with filmmaking much more than an attempt to rebuild the Ark in Hollywood. <laughs> 